Hey y'all, welcome back. If you saw my previous video, decorate with me in my living room, we are now in the dining room. This is the other side of, it's like a huge open concept. My living room, my dining room are both open to each other. So we're gonna start with, when we moved in, there wasn't a chandelier here. There was no hole, there was nothing to hook up, no light at all. My husband ran a, an electrical box up there for me and he hung the chandelier. The chandelier was a Facebook market find. It came a nickel finish and I spray painted it black. And then I added the burlap chandelier shades from Amazon. The dining room table, is got to be about 50 years old. Um, my husband and I bought it used back in the day about 30, well, 25 years ago from a couple who had had it Amish made and they had had it a very long time. I left the top, the, the original color, but painted the, the base white. The chairs originally were the ladder back chairs. Um, they got destroyed found these chairs on Facebook market. They were black. I painted them white back in the farmhouse days of let's paint everything white. Uh, let's see, move over here. The bookcases are just those put together kind of cheap bookcases. They were in the guest room. I moved them out of the guest room to sit beside my fish tank. The stand my husband built, um, I think he did a really great job. My fish tank, if anyone's interested, it's a 120 gallon fish tank. It's a, a tall, so it's not as wide. The fish in there I have raised from little tiny babies. They are South American freshwater fish. So, Beyond that, I don't think anybody really cares. So we're gonna start with the bookcases. Now well, there goes the dogs. Nothing different from when they were in the guest room. These are just books that we've gotten over the years and just acquired. When I decorate the books, I do it by subject and color on the shelf. The only thing that's in here is, it's a pot from Hobby Lobby, one of those little oval ones, and a fake plant that I just plop in there for some color. And I just set that in there. I take a couple of the books and I lay them flat and I set the plant on there. Down here is a terrarium that I made, it was a let me see if I can get you a little closer. It's one of those glass like jar. I got it at Walmart. It was, I believe $9.99. And I treated it like it was a, a real terrarium. I put the sand from Dollar Tree, some rocks, some gravel, and some moss rocks and some fake plants inside of it. And the rest, as you can see, Mr. Jasper, is getting himself in trouble and here he comes. Um, <laughs> maybe my co-host. So that's my bookcase styling there, but on the top, if you watch my decorate my china hutch with me, the top of it I put baskets and some faux um, flowers. To match that, because that's on the other side of the dining room, I decided I would take a basket that I got oh, a couple years back at Aldi's and some faux ferns that I got from Walmart. There's two of them in here. I'm gonna set that up right there in the corner. Hopefully y'all can see. Next to that, I have a wood box. Um, I used to live in Michigan and there's a town in Michigan called Frankenmuth. 
Uh, it's a beautiful little place to go visit. It's got some shops, German, um, authentic German food. It, it's a great little place to go. So I'm going to set that up there, a little towards the back, okay? On top of that, I've got this basket with a little liner, local thrift store. I'm going to set that on top of there. Move it around, adjust everything. Those wooden chain link kind of things. And what a little beaded rope kind of things. I am gonna set this just up. Hopefully Mr. Jasper will leave that alone. And that's the top of that bookshelf. Okay, moving on. We're gonna do the other one. Over here. Here the fishies go nuts. On the top of that one, I have another thrift store basket and a faux plant. Just that. And that goes up in the corner here. Next to that is a little riser. I got it Dollar Tree with a candle. And that's on that one. Tops part of the greener yet there. And that's the top of that one. Now in this bookshelf, there's just a tiny little topiary thing. I got it Walmart, filled it with rocks and a faux succulent. That goes in the top shelf. And then there's these, another thing. It was a thrift store container and I just filled it with faux succulents. And then the rest is books. So that's that wall. Now the windows are here. And in the middle of the windows, we didn't see it. Sorry for the reflection of the chandelier. This is a Hobby Lobby print with the frame, got it when it was on sale. I just, I love it because of the, the blue and the really wide matting. Then we're gonna come around here. Now we'll move you down. This tray I have in the middle of my dining room table is from Hobby Lobby. It was 50% off when I bought it. I believe it was $29.99 was the original price. When I took it to the register, I showed her there was some damage. She took $10 off of it. I was amazed. So I got it for a really good deal. The candlesticks are from a local thrift store. They're like the concrete. They match the planter that's on my coffee table. And then the candlesticks were from Ross. They, I got them at Christmas time. They were like a silvery color. The other parts of my coasters from Ross, the butterfly is a sentimental piece. It's Fenton glass. It was my mom's. Um, my mom had passed. I, I just love having it here, especially during the spring. The vase is from Walmart. I believe it's 14 for that one, and it's a metal one, so it doesn't break. The florals are from Hobby Lobby. They are the purple ones, and the, the willows are from Dollar Tree. 
and I keep that on the dining room table. It's easy to pick up, someone comes, and it, it just makes it nice. The corner over here is a faux olive tree that I got off of Amazon. It was brand new. The it was a I got a, a it was a steal. I can't link it. Just say it was only forty dollars, and it's it's a seven foot tree. The basket I believe came from Walmart, and I think it's no longer available. So I put that, and the fake moss in there is from Timu. Over here, oops, sorry guys. <laughs> I have a couple prints that are like coastal and the frames are from a thrift store and they just sit on the other side of the china cabinet that if you haven't seen, I have a video of how I decorated this and the baskets on top that play off of the ones on top of the bookcase. So, <sighs> tip you up. So that is my dining room. I keep it very simple. I I like to coordinate things. So you'll see where the candlesticks match the planter pot that's on the coffee table, the flowers on the dining room table match the flowers in the basket above the, the, the hutch. The baskets all crisscross and tie in, even the the tray is a wicker basket. So it all kind of flows and ties in and it's very cohesive. The light fixtures in the dining room, living room, the ceiling ones, and in the kitchen are all black. They all tie in. I am not a symmetrical or a matchy matchy kind of girl but I do like to have symmetry and flow through my home where the colors all kind of go, especially in an open concept. I really like things to just from one room to the next look like they all go together. So I will spin the camera around and I will give you a view of the entire space. Thank you for watching. Monday's video is probably going to be um, where I show you how I do a DIY in my bathroom to make my mirror look like a framed mirror and show you how I style it. So if you want to see that, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Please throw me some comments, um, suggestions. I'm open to them. I, I, I personally really love when you do that. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and like button because it really helps grow my channel, guys. Thank you so much and have a great day.